<laughs> Welcome back to another Attack on Titan reaction video and today we are continuing our journey through this insane anime. It's it's just getting it's just getting more and more crazy. With every single episode when I think it's like rounding up a storyline that we're gonna get a conclusion. Nope, it just decides to add a whole new art or introduce like a whole new character. It does anything it can to stop you getting the answers you want. This show is the biggest tease I've ever experienced in my life. It's unbelievable. Just when you think you're about to get an answer to a question that's been bugging you for so long. Nope, to be continued <laughs> every single time. So. I'm gonna stop talking. I am so damn curious. I ended last episode talking about a lot of theories that I have and I'm really interested to see if any of them come true or if I'm completely wrong and I'm gonna be happy either way. So how about I keep this one nice and short and we jump straight into this. But before we do that, I've just got to remind all of you, all Unblurred blurred reactions are always uploaded early to Patreon. Link to that is in the description. So if you don't want to watch the blurred reactions here, you can watch the Unblurred ones there. Also, I regularly live stream on Twitch. If you're not following me on Twitch, trust me, you're missing out. We do deep discussions about every single episode we check out on here. You guys give me direct anime opening recommendations and all sorts of stuff. If you want to be part of that, link to my Twitch channel is in the description. Make sure you're following me over there. Also, that's the only way you can be entered into the future channel giveaways. We can get yourself some gift cards, some nice goodies and all sorts of stuff. Enough of my talk! Talking. I've been talking for too long. Let's jump straight into my first time ever reaction to Attack on Titan Season 1, Episode 22. So no curry or tamote. Yats for he is taka. So the whole stock of an eye on me. Unajimo to Kaziri to Rale Tayota. Eren was seen that a car. Eren was seen that a car. 生きてます。目標には知性があるようですが、その目的はエレンを連れ去ることです。殺したいのなら潰すはず。目標はわざわざ口に含んで戦いながら逃げています。エレンを食うことが目的かもしれん。そうなればエレンは胃袋だ。普
狙える疲弊してるきっと動けない殺せる生きてる汚ねえがもうやつには関わるな撤退する作戦の本質を見失うな自分の欲求を満たすことの方が大事なのかお前の大切な友人だろう違う私は I'm so confused. <clears throat> interesting. Ah,、oh, this is so interesting. My brain is like having like a hundred theories at once right now.、Um, I am so damn confused. So, it didn't want to kill Eren. <clears throat> it didn't put Eren in its stomach, which makes me think it had no intention of ever. Harming Eren or risking Eren dying at all in any way. Otherwise, if it swallowed him, he could have been digested. Right? There's always that risk. No, it held Eren in its mouth. And then when they got Eren, it was crying as if it was sad that it lost Eren. Which, which is like so weird. Levi is also just like something else. That guy is insane! <laughs> Levi is on a whole other level. There is, like, you have everyone, and then level up Mikasa, and then miles above her, Levi. Like, Levi. Levi's just god tier. エルドが戻ってくるらしいよそうホルオのやつうちによる暇があるのかな作っとく分には構わないでしょ<笑>グンタが戻りますよそうか。One Titan, pretty much. By the way, I'm not sure if the Steam theory is correct anymore. Because I know people have said it, but now I'm not sure if it's correct anymore. Just because、um, Levi had the same thing. Levi had the Steam coming off his wounds and he looks healed there again. So either something is going on that I don't know about yet, or the Steam is just a way of showing wounds in Attack on Titan. Because Levi had it as well. Kore b a k a r i w a Nareneda. Dare that, so that you. 
仲間がどんなふうに死ぬのか自分がどう死ぬのかそんなことばっかり考えちまう僕は考えないようにしてるんだ自分の最後なんて想像したら多分戦えなくなるからそうだなお前の言う通りだいつまで生きてられっかなとりあえずは生き延びたじゃないですかとりあえずはなよかったじゃないですか生きてるんですから死んだ奴らの遺体に向かってそう言えるか<笑>もう国には帰れねえかもしれねえな<笑>ほぼ終わりました。回収不能が5体ほどありましたが、一部でも無理か。巨人のせいで回収できないもの以外は、あれならばむしろ、持ち帰らない方が遺族のためかと。行方不明で処理しろ。はい。巨人は、森の周辺で数体確認しましたが、こちらに向かってくるものは、まだいません。直ちに移動だ。各班に伝えろ。はい。納得いきませんエルヴィン団長お,おいお前回収すべきですイヴァンの死体は、すぐ目の前にあったのに巨人がすぐ横にいただろう二次被害になる恐れがある襲ってきたら、倒せばいいではありませんかイヴァンは、同郷で幼馴染なんですあいつの親も知っていますせめて連れて帰ってやりたいんですわがままを言うなガキの喧嘩かリヴァイ兵長。死亡を確認したなら、それで十分だろう。遺体があろうがなかろうが死亡は死亡だ。何も変わるところはない。そんな。イヴァンたちは行方不明として処理する。これは決定事項だ。諦めろ。お二人には、人間らしい気持ちというものがないのですかおい、ディーター言葉が過ぎるぞ Something, something is definitely going on. Like, something, something is, something is definitely going on. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Like, the characters, the way they're acting, the leaders, they know something. Like, they knew about this female titan already. Is it possible that this female titan was a good guy and has turned bad? Is it possible? I don't know. But they already knew. They already knew all of this. Anyway. Nah, something, something's not sitting right with me.、Uh, these survey corps include complicated suspension systems,、uh, ultra hard steel that can only be made in factory cities. Okay. Yeah, alright. I guess that makes sense to how, how they can go so fast. Feels like information I didn't need, but alright, fair enough. <clears throat> Wagons. Wagons? Wagons hitch to the survey corps. Horses travel around 20 kilometers. They can maintain their speed on various terrain. But、uh, be it paved or unpaved. Huh. So that's the point. Okay. Okay. Specially designed wagons to move quick across harder terrain. The idiots. This is the first time I've ever seen this. I've never seen this. I've never seen this. I've never s e e このままでは追いつかれる戦うしかねえ
平地での一体軌道には限界があるそれに見てよキリがないあじゃあどうすりゃいいってんだそれはあっcan do, but also gets overwhelmed with emotion, which is why Levi is so much better than her. He never has that. And that is one of the first times. I've only seen it twice. Once, when he figured out who Mikasa was, he, his like expression faltered a little bit when he realized who she was. And again, in this moment, where he realized he had to dump the bodies and you saw him touch his leg, and you know he wanted to fight. You know he wanted to fight. You know he touched his leg in that moment thinking, if... I could fight, I could kill this titan, I could kill the rest, even in this open field, and I could keep the bodies of my fallen comrades. You know that was going through his head, you know that was a hard decision, and all because of those two guys who just could have could have walked away. And because one of them survived, I'm interested to see what happens when that person gets back to the city. <clears throat> Here we go. Divine Hejo. Chibuwa. Korega Yatra no Ikita Akasta. Oreni Totuana. Ivan no Monoda. I love Levi. I love Levi. He, I, I, I love him so much. He is the best damn character in the world. I love him. I love him. He's, <laughs> he's the best. That man. Eren, the search force will stop. What? Why? You also want to kill the search force? To kill the search force? It's not a problem. What? What? 
調査兵団が帰ってきたんだ正面の門が開くぞ行くぞミカサ英雄の凱旋だ<笑>しか帰ってこなかったのかみんな食われちまったんだろうわざわざ壁の外に出るからこうなるんだ俺じゃあ俺らの税で奴らに餌をやって太らせてるようなもんだエレン<笑>どうしたの目が逃したしたなんでみんな一体作戦は失敗した今は休んでこれはまたお前に助けてもらったのかもうじき壁に着くから。You know what I find really weird as well, and almost kind of eerie, is the fact that they're not out behind the walls. They're not in the wilderness. They're in territory that they previously owned and was safe. They're in territory that is surrounded by a wall. But because of one fracture in it, it's completely abandoned and now overrun with titans. <laughs> ケイサイオリカズナスクナクナってないか。かなり減ってるな。コンクリートひどいな。朝から叫び回って出てったと思ったらもう帰ってきやがった。何しに行ったんだ。さあな。しかし、こいつらの仕方辛からさするんだな。
オートに召集されると同時にエレンの引き渡しが決まった Wow, this is a different feeling I haven't had before. <laughs> this is more of an emotional one. <laughs> I mean, anyone who follows my reactions outside of this will know it doesn't take much for me to get teary eyed. <laughs> But damn, that was a、uh, that was a hard ending and a, a different kind of cliffhanger. Because of that one failure, they've decided to hand Eren over. <clears throat> The thing is, there w a s only two options to begin with. I don't understand how they can come up with that. I, I, I don't understand. There w a s only two options to begin with, and that was Eren is used, essentially, or、um, kill him. So if he's being handed over, he's being handed over to be executed. <clears throat> Which just seems strange to come to that decision when he's like completely in control, been proved, he's like transformed. It's like it's been proved. It's just, just strange. It's so, so eerie. So weird. One thing, though, earlier in this episode, when、um, that soldier was shouting at, at Levi and Arwen, <clears throat> the soldier was like shouting at them and asking if they have no human emotions at all. When, it, when they come back and you see what they have to deal with, And this isn't the first time they've dealt with this kind of stuff. This isn't the first time they've lost. This would, is, won't be the first time they've lost people. So, for them to have to come back and to deal with everything that they deal with, you're, you're gonna lose a lot of what makes you human. Or, you're gonna learn to build up emotional walls high enough that you can put on a face that's strong enough to deal with it. Which I feel like that kind of. Uh, that was like a, a way of answering that soldier's question. That ending, <clears throat> when they like came back, like when, when that soldier asked them if they have any human emotions, and then seeing them come back and, and,、uh, and seeing them experience what they were experiencing, and you can see their eyes, and you know it's getting to them, but at the same time, they're remaining strong and composed. I feel like that was a way of answering that earlier question that that soldier asked. It definitely felt like an episode of Full Circles. I mean, we saw it with Aaron. Um, remembering how excited he was to see the Survey Corps when they came back, and, and now and now we'd like, he sees a, like, a, like a, a boy and a, and a girl and, and, and sees the face that he had and the excitement that he had about how amazing they are. I mean, the truth is, they are. They are amazing. you know They're fantastic soldiers, and they are the best of humanity in terms of fighting the Titans. But the majority of humans are scared and just think, let's just. Stay behind this wall and be safe. And I think it's so easy for them to forget. I know I'm talking about this weirdly, but it is. It's so easy for them to forget that they weren't safe before and they just wanted to stay behind the wall and not, you know, kick at the bee's nest. They were like, oh, well, let's stay behind the wall and be safe. Next thing you know, Colossal Titan shows up. And I think that's the first time we ever saw the Colossal Titan with the way people were reacting. And, and everything changed. And then the Armored Titan broke down the other wall. And everything changed again. And the Colossal Titan showed up again, and everything changed. It's like, how many times are these people going to realize it's not getting better? And the only hope they have is to fight. Because hiding behind these walls has never won them anything and just continues to lose them stuff. <clears throat> um, I have no idea how the next episode is going to go.、Um, we are approaching the end. I believe there are two more episodes of this season. And then that's it. I know、uh, some people tell me that I need to react to、uh, something else, like another episode or something, before I react to season two.、Um, so, yeah, let me know what that's exactly called in the comment section down below. It's getting quite emotionally heavy now.、Um, it, like, I thought this was going to be 20 minutes of a fight, but it turns out Levi just has these insane skills. And then the beginning of the episode is almost forgotten about the weight of the emotion, the rest of it. And if we look at. The beginning of the episode, and we see how that female Titan reacted when Eren was taken away from her. Something just didn't feel right about that scene. I feel it's something felt really weird. 
Like, for me, it almost felt like the female Titan had an emotional connection to Eren. It felt weird. It, it felt really weird. I don't understand why she would be crying like that. Um, something just didn't feel right. This uh, option one is she like whoever her boss is. She knows she failed big time and is going to get massively punished. Um, or option two is there's some sort of connection she has with Eren. Um, I thought we were going to find out who she is. I guess that remains a mystery. Anyway, I hope you guys are all still enjoying these reactions. This has been. This has been a hard episode in the best way. I can't believe we only have two more and I finished my first season. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. I never thought I would enjoy an anime show. That's the truth. And uh, I'm happy to be sitting here and completely proved wrong. And I cannot wait to see where this journey takes us. Not just with Attack on Titan, but with the animes that we watch after we finish this one as well. I hope you're all enjoying all of these videos. I really appreciate all the kind support. It's been a lot of fun for me, and as long as you're all enjoying them, still watching, still subscribing, these videos will still keep coming. And I hope wherever you are in the world, you have the most wonderful day ever. Thank you so much for taking some time, spending it here with me. I love all of you wonderful people. And as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.